So relational concept like reflexes, reaction, and also distance. This pulling hand of in karate, there is a hidden use to it. So there is a lot of other elements that we don't really cover in a standard karate class. There is also this use of grabbing. Mm. That is important to help the participants transition into kumite. Just follow through, go to the front and take the person down. Okay, so welcome back to the Lionheart Academy channel and in this video, we are going to be focusing on drills. So, Hendra, thank you for joining us again here today. Thank you for having me. With this being the first episode where we are talking about drills, I am excited to be asking you in the traditional karate world, uh, what drills are there that uh, participants can use or instructors can implement in order to transition from solo practice to partner practice like mm. kumite. kumite right? yep. So as uh, we, those of us who practice karate, we understand kihon and kata is an individual practice, right? Yep. Against the imaginary opponent. Yep. So there is this gap when you have to react to a live person in front of you. Yep. So it ranges from, I mean, to bridge the gap, uh, in traditional karate, it ranges from Ippon Kumite, which is largely, la largely used in Shitori Karate. So, Ippon Kumite. Ippon Kumite means it's a one-step sparring. Okay. And so, so uh, the person gives an attack and then you respond to attack. So yeah. that's called Ippon, right? Mm -hmm. One attack, one response. Yeah. So for viewers who are not familiar with karate or uh, karate terms or Japanese terms, mm -hmm. Ippon basically means one point or one step. One point, one step. Yeah, yeah. and Kumite so is basically the engagement. Yeah, it's just a one gradation. Yeah. That's all, right? Okay. And then if you're looking at Shotokan, Shotokan, uh, we have um, more than one step. We had the Sambon Kumite, which is three steps sparring, or Gohon Kumite, five steps sparring. Okay. This is to train the continuity in technique okay. and following up, right, to chase the opponent. I see. But um, the difference is uh, Ippon Kumite is more dynamic in the sense that in Shitori, we use tension hapo. Okay. Right, we move 45 degrees, straight line back, or even sideways. Mm. Right? But for Shotokan, Go, uh, Sambo Kumite and Gohon Kumite is largely a linear movement. Okay. It's chasing or just um, avoiding linearly to the back. That so is it is similar drills but linear. differentiated by the Angle style's um, emphasis. Yes, okay. correct. Okay. Yeah. And from my experience with uh, Okinawan Karate, mm. there is also this um, the practice that's taken straight out from Kata. They don't really have a name for it, okay. but it's part of the Kihon. So okay. let's say for example, uh, in Kojiru basic kata, Gekisai kata, right? They begin with this step, and one, two, and three. Okay. So this is considered one movement, and this is their uh, so-called the, the, the bridging kumite. So they practice this two and through. Okay, with a partner? With a partner. Okay. It can be a different partner also, because for karate, sometimes it moves in four directions. Yeah. So you move in four directions, then you have another four partners around you, and you perform the kata while you react I to see. the four attacks. So you do the kata solo, and then after that, you take the same sequence and do it with partners. Mm. Shall we now do an example of a Ippon Kumite, sure. or whatever you have? Okay. Yeah. So tell me what to do. So um, we <laughs> because I'm super new other. to this. Sure, sure. Please stand in front of me. Okay. So usually we'll square off here. Yeah. Right? And then the other person who's going to be the attacker will take a Gedan Barai in a Zenkusu Dachi position behind. Okay. This way. Okay. So you'll be determining whether the attack will be middle or, or upper level, Chudan or Jodan. Okay. Right? So this person will just step forward in a Chudan Zuki or Jodan Zuki. And usually it will stop short. One face distance from the face. Okay. Right. The other person will ha then have to react with the co uh, with the corresponding blocks by stepping back. I so see. let's say, for example, um, you do a gedan barai with the zenku sudachi behind. Right. You step forward, middle punch, and then we will usually step back and block with the yoko okay for this one, and then return the punch. Okay. And then come back. So I this is kumite, usually for the beginners, mm. but for the more advanced um, practitioner, you may be followed with. Second or third attack followed by a takedown. Okay. Okay. So it, it's Ippon, uh, in a sense, it's one attack and mm -hmm. one return. But then the, the counter attack can be a, a, a combo itself. I it see. ends with a takedown or just ends with an attack, that's all. Okay. Mm. It's a defense against a middle punch, right? Yep. So from here, just get ready because the re reason why you stand just in a normal stance in Shitori is to be ready for 
any kind of situation, right? It, this is how you encounter in a normal life, day-to-day -day life. So just stand naturally, this way, relax, and when the punch comes, you try to react last minute just before the punch hits your body. Right, so you take 45 degrees back in a short stance, and then you blow with the Yoko okay? Imagine a middle punch coming from here, so the punch will go out there. And then from here, you have two options. One, you can punch to the middle, or you can punch to the face. So the next one, maybe the more advanced one. I would suppose a kick looks more scary than, than a punch. Mm. Right? So same thing, for a punch, you can move back 45 degrees as well into shikoraji. So middle kick comes, shikoraji, then from here, the person will fall forward, it's closer towards you. But for me, you just shift your stance into zenku suraji and counter with the middle punch. So for a more advanced practice, and we will follow up with the more techniques from here, the punch comes, same, shift your body first, get into your stance, you block, you catch the hand, kick with the front leg, and then you can deliver a punch to the face while grabbing the hand. And then once the punch connects, take him and trip him to the floor and finish off with another punch. So based on my observation, the basic one is basically um, as simple as it gets. Yes. Go into the stance and counter attack. The intermediate one, you have a variation of the stance. You went into shikodachi Correct. or the sumo stance as we yes. call it. And finally, there's a bit more of the grabbing element, there's a throwing element, and all that. You're right. Okay. Yeah, change your own direction angles. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead to do the application with me. If you're wondering about why I'm moving a bit funny, it's because currently I'm missing a leg injury. I will try my best to be in good form. Uh, I trust my partner will take care of me, okay, and we will try our best to show you the application uh, of the Ipon Kumite. Do three examples. The first one being the most simple, uh, something that you would introduce a beginner. Second one, maybe intermediate level. Third one, maybe a bit more advanced, somebody who's like at your level uh, would right. be doing. What is the speed that you want your participants to go at for this drill? Take your time. So, um, let's say that punch comes again. Take your time slowly, watch the punch as you come. Okay. First thing you have to do is you have to shift your leg. Like watch the punch, shift your leg, get your body out of the way, and then you block. Right, and then look at where you're on the punch, and counter attack. So this kind of speed, you can start with maybe um, 5 to 10 repetitions. Okay. And then once you're comfortable with it, same drill, speed it up. So from here, the middle punch comes, block, and at the same time, punch back. Punch. And then that completes that drill. Okay. And then we can try on the other side as well. We try to do both sides for balance. Sure. Right. Okay. So, so take the stun from the other side here. Last minute and go in with the counter attack. And then we reset. Slow speed. Block. And kick. And then you can finish off with the punch. Okay. This is one example. Full speed. We can go to the second example with the Shikonaji. It's a front kick. So a front kick. Okay. Yeah. So here. One. One. And from here immediately going with the punch. Yeah. So Not that I don't want to kick properly, but I can't really bend my leg. No. Okay. Okay. So let's try. Take care of yourself. So here. Okay. So point to note is when the kick comes, don't just uh, contact. Just not just touch like that. Yep. Okay. Make sure that you your hand here. You get the kick over. Yep. Right. And then you return with the counter attack. Okay. Here. And punch. Faster speed. And punch. Mm. So maybe do the one with the throw. The throw, okay. Okay. So in slow speed. Here. One. One. Two. Three. Three. All right. Then from here, you need to grab. Okay. And pull and kick. All right. Okay. So medium speed. Okay, and um, full speed finally. Oh. Oh. Right. Like I said earlier, this pulling hand of in karate, there is a hidden news to it, right? Besides from countering for balance, uh, power generation, there is also this use for grabbing. Yep. Right? So you can pull and grab at the same time and you punch to the face. Right? So after you complete with the punch, yep, your hands already here. Just follow through. Go to the front and take the person down. 
With the drill call um, Ipong Kumite out of the way, uh, just a few observations. Yeah, and one thing I note and appreciate with this one is that when you do it at full speed, it is actually fluid. Uh, it is not Sloppy. one and yeah. two because a, a lot of us criticize, right, to say that it is not practical to step back, block, yes. and then on the next count. Yeah, you that's what you see yeah. a lot with uh, traditional karate. Even the recent Olympics, if yeah. you watch the kata, right, it looks very um, blocky, choppy. Yeah, right. But um, practically. We don't use it that way. It's yeah. supposed to flow from one move to another. Yeah, because the reality is that if the um, attacker realized that the punch didn't connect, he would want to attack again or run away, right? Correct. And before that happens, the counter attack has to Should come in. Come in. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, we conclude today's episode on uh, karate drills, and specifically, we have covered today Ipon Kumite. And as I understand it, as presented by Hendra, uh, Ipon Kumite is quite a common. Uh, drill that is used in traditional karate, karate practice and depending on which style of school you um, hail from the emphasis of the drill will be a bit different, a different okay. yes. but essentially what the drill is about um, it's about um, the receiver um, receiving an attack from the other person mm. with the key points if I remember um, move as last minute as possible yes so we wait for the before mm. just before the attack context so yep. just to train your fortitude and also your reaction. Yeah, so fortitude is a good point that you raise up because um, again, the experience of um, training solo and with an opponent is a bit different. Yeah. Uh, the mental fortitude, the so-called courage has to be there. And yes. yeah, pushing yourself to move last minute is one of the um, important points mm. that uh, we need to take note in order to build that fortitude, right? Yeah. Uh, and also I guess uh, moving last minute has its tactical advantages, it's en it ensures that the opponent commits to the attack and not change midway. Yes, it might follow your, if you change too early, move too early, it might follow your change of direction and hit you in the end as well, so yep. rendering your uh, evasion useless. Mm, okay, so yeah, so that's uh, one of the takeaways I get from this drill, uh, move last minute. Uh, number two is to be uh, particular about your angle uh, when you move, your stance, body position when you move also. Yeah. And um, finally, it's to perform the whole drill in full range of motion. Right. Because we talk about um, developing body mechanics, right? Mm -hmm. That you want to uh, be able to apply in an actual fight. Right. Okay. Do you have anything else to comment? Yeah, it's just like the recent video that Rush has shown, shown right? Yeah. The, the Isometric training for punch. Yeah, right, isometric training. Right, so that is a different stages of the punch coming out, right? Mm. So I in a way, it's similar, but this one without resistance. All right, so with that, thank you for joining us in this episode. We hope this has been useful for you. Um, if you like whatever we're doing, uh, click like on the, on the channel. Basically, click like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and with this, we hope you can enjoy karate more. Okay. Don't like me, I just close it.